this was like a positive outlet and I didn't have that at the time. Really everything else I was doing was, was quite destructive aside from, you know, like spending time with friends, like social connection, I think is good for anyone at any age, but absolutely, you know, I was my mind, I was in a dark place mentally for, I would say my entire adolescence, but I was a social kid. So like, you know, I would rap in school. I would just like, I would sit down with my notebook anywhere in the school and just start writing. I could do that when I was younger. You know, these days I need, I need a little bit more space. Like no, no one can really be around me right, <laughs> for my right. writing process. Yeah, I, can, I feel that I'm the same way. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, I can, rec- I don't, you know, I can record around people and stuff and like, get into that that mode if it's rehearsed but as far as like exploring new creative ideas and like pushing boundaries i need to know that i'm like free in my space but it hasn't always been that way i used to be you know able to just drop whatever and do it wherever and you know jump into a group of people and just start rapping and i don't know i guess that's maybe the the fearlessness that comes with youth you know <laughs> i th- keep that inner child alive somehow but it's you know pieces of us that we just wonder like where did that come from you know <laughs> yeah and then as we get older it's like where did that go you know and well put so i was 13 and i really loved it from the time i started doing it and i would continue to surprise myself as i wrote more and more it was one of the first things that i would just like wow like you just did that, you know, right. and not in like a, not in, I mean, maybe in an egotistical way, but more like at that age, like I just hadn't done anything to like impress or surprise myself. And it was just an example of like, oh, you can do this. You can go against the grain and like, you're just thinking in a way that, you know, whatever people are just like, oh yeah, cool. You're rapping. Like that's whatever a phase, you know, yeah. <laughs> and you know, that's what they they think though too i mean like i was writing poetry i wasn't really like writing raps you know Mm. um it was nice like you're saying it's like you accomplished that like whether it's egotistical or not it's it's like you created that you know Mm. like probably the entirety of our lives up until 13 or 14 it's like you were told to do these problems in school you were told to play sports this way you were told to do things this way right and then for the first time ever it's just like a blank page with a pen or a pencil and it's like i can create with my mind, you know, so mm. it, that was it, just it, man. It's it's a proud moment when you're actually able to like do it yourself, you know. Hundred percent. I think that's it's just fucking crazy to like start at that age, like doing something and then not giving up on it. Because I hear a lot about people our age or even older, and they're like, oh, "I really wish I stuck with this, like hobbies and stuff." And it's like. Once you, like, really, truly love something, like, you just never stop doing it, you know? Like, I'll always, like, be rhyming. I'll also always be, like, Mm -hmm. gloving with my hands, even though I don't, like, glove that much anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, a piece of you at that point, right? Yeah, habits are powerful, man. And at a young age where our brains are so neuroplastic, you know, we're really really attaching to, like, our continued practiced behaviors. You know, so I didn't know that that age, like every time I wrote a rhyme, every time, you know, every time I sat down to do that, every time I rapped, it would become more of just a natural inclination to me. In my later years, when it's like less feasible and and more difficult to allocate the time toward it, you know, right? because in our younger years, we we don't have responsibilities as much. We don't have so, so many things that are demanding of our time and energy. And I do encourage like for the young people listening, like really what what you're doing, you know, the younger you are, the more that what you're doing can shape who you are, you know? And, and that's not to say, I don't, I don't want to discourage anyone that's even our age. Like I'm how old are you, John? 29. 29. Okay. I'm 28. So we're the same age. Um, right, people right. of any age, you know what I mean? Like the more you do something, the more, the more, the easier it's going to be to do but just generally speaking, like from a scientific perspective, you know, our brains are more neuroplastic at a younger age. Correct. And, you know, and it does get harder as you get older. So I think that explains why a lot of people kind of let things go, put things down, because it's easier to kind of just step into or settle for like our comforts and you pleasures, know, I suppose. Our nine to five <laughs> work style, come home, eat, watch TV, you know, tired all the time. But it it takes that extra drive at the end of the day. It's like trying to learn like a new language or a new instrument, picking up an old hobby or even starting a new routine of like, 
you know, going to the gym, playing a different sport or something like that. It's like you have to try a little bit harder as you're older, you know. And Mm -hmm. most of the people listening to this podcast are also in their 20s or 30s also. So we're also so we're also talking to some people that are looking for a little bit of motivation in trying to change their life for the better. If we do have some younger listeners out there, like I the advice I'd give them probably the same as you is just like you got to just like do it. You got to do everything. You got to keep. Yeah, definitely don't worry. Right. But I mean, yeah, to be mindful of that. I mean, I didn't have anyone telling me that. At that age, there was no mentorship, you know? <laughs> yeah, same, same here. Yeah, I was just kind of doing my own shit, you know? It was like trial and error at that age for me. 